the one that kind of gave us our breaks and our gigs in the beginning. He was almost like our agent, but we're not really. We would just have to do a lot of favors in the sense that we would have to do a lot of free makeup for his models and stuff like that. But he, in return, he would give us work. Yeah. Um, so for magazines, shoots, um, people would contact him. He had a company called Monk Productions. Uh -huh. Wherever you are in Erie, thank you for every, all the opportunities. Mm -hmm. We were really hard workers, and anytime he needed us for something, you know, we, we didn't drop get everything or anything. We dropped everything, and we came to his beck and call. Yeah, we, we never said no to opportunity. Always yeah. said yes. And it, it was great for us because we needed the practice. We knew how better, how much better we were getting with the practice, so we didn't want to turn away any uh, yeah. opportunities. Yeah. So we actually were um, doing a backstage show with uh, East West Fashion Show with uh, Viva now, but back then Gagan was his first collection. Yeah. Called something else. So Guggen from uh, Viva Collection, yeah. his first show. Um, I can't remember what the, the the label was back then, but he was kind of new here from India. Yeah. And he was doing it was his first show. It was our first show. Yeah. It was chaos back there. It was the two of us. We had no staff, and we had how many models to get ready? We had like 19. It was crazy. And like we all hair and makeup, us. And then they had outfit changes. Yeah, which ruined the hair, and I had to do all the hair. I actually, it all, I think it, that was the closest I ever came to an outfit breakdown. You remember? Yeah, I it was out. It was out. Because in between the clothing changes, the hair got messed up, and people, I literally had like a 15 second turnaround time. And when the model walked out with with uh, the hair messed up, I and you probably noticed that people that do contact mm -hmm. uh, the fashion shows, I don't like doing it. Because I like to, you know, we like quality, yeah. not so much quantity. And with two people, even with a team of people, like mm -hmm. we want a bride to look perfect and that takes time. Yeah, and what had happened was, it was Guggen's first show and he didn't know, he didn't, he basically sewed the models into their garments. So there was no zippers. They went over the head. They went over the head, it was whole, it was, anyways, mm -hmm. that happened. And we were told to go get some lunch and we're like, okay, and we're on break and we're driving to get some lunch. And then Neri calls us and he was like, guess what? I don't want to say exactly what he said because it was like, there's some swearing at all. Yeah. He was like, he was, where are you? And we're like, uh, we're just driving. He's like, you need to turn around and you need to go to the Sheraton Gelford because there is a major Bollywood celebrity. So exactly how he talks. Out. He's not South Asian. So we're like, what does he know about Bollywood celebrity? Yeah. Probably some, I'm thinking it's some soap opera yeah. person who's coming down to promote the show, but we well, didn't know. That it was a big surprise that City Baby, which is Bollywood royalty, was coming yeah. down to Vancouver to promote a store. And which was, was the same. Secret. It was the same event, but nobody in the event knew that she was going to walk out at the end. So he's like, uh, "Well, like, who is it?" And I'm just like he's eating like, my fries. No, he's like, "I'll call you back." And he's like, "Just head to the head to the Sheraton." Mm -hmm. I still remember going down. It was 152nd, we're heading to the Sheraton. Yep. We're about two blocks up. No, I had my Starbucks in my hand. Yes. I don't like drinking my Starbucks. We're about two blocks up, and then he calls back. And he's like, are you ready? And we're like, yeah. why? He's like, he's like, you guys are gonna leave your S word. And we're like, okay, it's, it's Siri, mother something, Davey. Davey. And the look on her face, the way we looked at each other, the words. You were words. kinda cool. I lost it, cause yeah. I, I, I grew up watching her. I'm in love with her. I wanted to be her. My brother wanted to be her. My brother I used to do dances. her dances. <laughs> I used to wear clothing and like walk around like a snake. Everything she did, I mimic. I begged my mom for great contacts. And like, I was 10 years old and she's like, get a life. And I'm like, please, she's wearing them. So yeah, it was kinda, it was surreal for me.